This is The Agent Goldmine, where you'll find real talk, shit talk, and ambition. We're here to build real businesses and be more than your average agent. We want to know what the killers are actually doing within their businesses, the reality of it. All tactical, no fluff. So we're here to find out. Please share and enjoy. Welcome back to another episode of The Agent Goldmine. Today, Shelby and I are doing a solo dolo, well, the two of us, podcast, because we are diving deep into superhuman. So as a reminder, in case you didn't listen to our last or maybe two episodes ago where we had both of us on together, we talked about AI stuff. And in the AI tools that we use in our business and in our personal life, we spoke about superhuman and we were going so in the weeds. And I was like, you know what? We probably should just have an entire episode just for superhuman where Shelby is going to tutor me. <laughs> So we both use superhuman, but Shelby has been using it for a lot longer. She knows what the fuck she's talking about. And I am just still learning yeah. I have little baby steps here. Hell yeah. <laughs> so if you have any questions. Yeah. Well, I was going to say with like every tech system, it's like, there's always, you know what you know. And then there's like miles and miles of depth that you haven't even like scratched the surface on. So when you're like, Shelby knows what she's doing. I know what I know. And it is incredibly helpful in my business. And I can't wait to share that with you and with the listeners. But there's still so much more out there as with everything. Take us, I guess, in case people didn't listen to that other episode, what the fuck is superhuman? What the fuck is superhuman? Superhuman is what I call an email overlay, which could be the wrong terminology. But to me, it makes sense because you can use your Gmail, you can use your Outlook, and then you sign up with Superhuman, which I think, Allie, is it $30 a month? Yes. Okay, $30 a month. My One of my good friends works at Superhuman, so I get mine for free. So, but uh-huh. anyway, so it's, it's uh-huh. this. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, my God. But yeah, so you have your Gmail, you have your Outlook, and then you have Superhuman, which is a web. Like you open it up with Chrome and you type in superhuman and then it prompts you to log in with to your email, like whether it's Gmail or Outlook. And then you do and send all of your emails through the overlay and not through the Gmail or the Outlook platform itself. And the cool thing about it is like superhumans, the whole thing is about like being lightning fast and super efficient, which really speaks to both me and Allie because we are obsessed with ways that we can optimize the little things in our life. Because if you think about it, our entire life is just made up of all these little tiny moments. And so when you're like, oh, this doesn't take that long, I'm just going to do it myself. Well, you've probably said that multiple times in this one day. And then talk about how you've done it over a week and then over a month and over a year. And if you think about that, it's like your entire life is just really these decisions you make in these tiny moments and they all compound, which brings me back to why we're so obsessed with it. So Superhuman is a platform that allows you to be super efficient in navigating your emails. So like you can do everything that you need to do without lifting your hand from the keyboard to touch the mouse and and like click around. And you might hear a little bit of clicking today on my demo just because I got a new keyboard. (laughs) Uh, I got a mini one because my big one that I had before was making me stand funny at my standing desk. And so this mini one I got doesn't have my little keypad thing where with the arrows. And so now I have to return it and get a new keyboard. Anyway, all that to say, if you hear clicking, it's because I have the fucking wrong keyboard. It's not because of superhuman. Okay, so it, you do not have to lift your hand from the keyboard. It also allows you to go through the emails really fast and organize them in the way that fits your calendar. For instance, when the email comes in and you're not ready to deal with it, you can do with a couple clicks, with a couple of clicks of your keys, set it to pop back up on the day when you time blocked, on the day that you want to focus on that information. And so for this, I'm just going to go through and do the demo. Guys, if you are listening and you're not watching on YouTube, it's a time to hit pause and then set a little reminder for yourself to next time you're at your computer, pull up YouTube. It's not going to fucking make sense if you can't see this. Any notes before we jump in, Allie? Superhuman was something that you had been talking about since I became an agent and joined the crew. And it was something that I pushed to the back of my mind. I was like, okay, eventually, okay, eventually, you know, just one of those things, long-term or even like midterm checklist item. And then there was one time where you shared your screen during a training that we had 
And I was like, holy fuck. She just did that so fast. She sent out maybe like three emails and like found other emails, like search for email, like dug through her, through her inbox and like all in the matter of like maybe 25 seconds. And I was like, I want to do that. And that's when it clicked. That's when it was like, oh, that's superhuman. <laughs> so at that point, like I had to see it to believe it, you know? And so for those that are still like not sold on superhuman, go on YouTube to be able to see how fast she does her shit because she is superhuman. Shel- Shelby, the superhuman. All right, hit it. Oh, that is so <laughs> sweet. Okay, so now here is my superhuman home screen, which obviously it looks really pretty and clean. And most of your in- inboxes probably look more like like this craziness. Yep. And so I'm going to give you an example on more of my crazy ones. And let me just tell you what I just did right there. Okay. So from, this is my email, Shelby at Five Pillars Nation is my email. This is my inbox. I am able with two clicks, alt two, jump to my other old email, Shelby at Five Pillars Realty that I don't check anymore. And with alt three, I can jump to info at Five Pillars Nation. And with alt four, I can jump to another inbox. So if you guys have multiple inboxes, which most of you do have personal and have business, I love superhuman because you can have up to 10 accounts in one place that you can just toggle between lightning fast, like you just saw. So, okay. The, the inboxes there, is that different from switching tabs? Tabs. Yeah. So like you could have a tab open here and go to Gmail and you can have a tab open here and go to Outlook. Is that what you mean? No. So in your superhuman, there's oh, important, there's the flag. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Like the calendar mm-hmm. and the other? Okay. No, no, no. So that, so, so toggling between accounts is different between when you're in your account and moving through the different ways to organize. Yes. So if you want, do you have multiple, do you, okay. So all you have to do is control K and then type in add, and then you can add an account. And you can add up to 10 accounts with no additional payment needed. So I don't need to have more than one, right? Yeah, I would for you just because I I would still have my Gmail. Like I still have my Gmail up here that I check just periodically because, you know, someone might email you or for you like calendar invites with you. I always just invite both of your <laughs> Yeah, because they never know really which one to do. But you know, less is more overall, like don't make your life more complicated. If you don't check more than one inbox, that's fine. The reason another reason why I like it in particular is because, again, I can do all three and it jumps over to my info at Five Pillars Nation. And I can see what my virtual assistants are doing if need be in case they're not CCing me. I can also go to all of their template emails And I can see because one of the tasks that I'm having her do right now is create template emails as they're doing a transition between VAs. So I can check progress on all of their own templates. And if I see them email using a template that I don't like, I can just pop into that email and change the snippet real quick for future reference. So that's just another reason why I like to have multiple accounts. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. So that is toggling between accounts quickly. Then you asked about the tabs. So in my screen, you can see that I have important. I have flagged, calendar, and other. So important is basically where everything goes until I tell it to go somewhere else. And I, you know, there's a lot of different ways. Like I know with a bunch of people at Gmail, they have like a bunch of different ways that you can organize things in folders and all that stuff. But one of superhumans things is simplicity rules. Like, which is my whole thing lately, less is more. And so at first I was pissed. I was like, I want more categories. They actually won't let you have (laughs) more than four categories to keep it as simple as possible. But yeah, so let me go back to one of my gross accounts. So this has 775 emails that I'm like, oh, I don't want to look at any of these. I don't even fucking know who this person is. So the first thing that Superhuman is really, really good at is identifying spam. I know that your your inbox is probably filled with bullshit that you have to sift through to find what actually matters, right? So the junk email feature in Superhuman is super powerful. 
so powerful that you actually, as you first get superhuman, you need to monitor it in the beginning just to make sure that there's nothing that slipped in there that isn't actually spam. And it's, you know, as soon as you find something maybe that's not spam, you just hit control K, which is kind of like your go-to for everything. When in doubt, you just go to control K and that's where you can find all of your features. But you can just literally write mark not as junk, hit enter, and now it will go back into your inbox. And it remembers. So Superhuman is really good at remembering what things you told it versus what you didn't tell it. Do you have a question? You look like you're... I don't know why I just had my praying hands. I was just like, oh, I'm th- I was thinking so hard. <laughs> okay. okay. When, going back really very quick, the Alt 2, Alt alt 3, Alt 4. Yeah. You're, alt you're holding, you're holding the Alt, yep. right? Just to make it as clear as possible. Yep, you're holding you just, the Alt, yep. pressing 2. Exactly. Hold all, then press one, and now I'm back into my pretty, my pretty inbox, the one that I actually live in. Pretty one. (laughs) Okay, and then you want to toggle as the recap to go between tabs within this important flagged other, etc. That's just the the tab. You literally just hit tab. Excellent. Literally just hit tab. Yep. Um, And so you can see in in this. Oh yeah, go on. No, no, no. No, that that was it. It was just a quick recap. (laughs) Okay, perfect. Thank you for listening. Out of respect for your time, we want to make this show as valuable as possible for you. So if you have any feedback on how we can improve, please let us know. DM us at Allie the Agent and The Shelby Show. Okay, so we just talked about spam. We talked about how it's really good at pulling spam so you don't have to distract yourself with that every fucking day, time and time again. But let's just say that something in your important inbox did end up and it is spam. All you do is hit enter what an exclamation point. And then you just marked it as junk. Is it enter? What is that? It must be control shift. Gosh, this fucking new keyboard. It doesn't have any letters. <laughs> it doesn't have anything on it either. So it's challenging for me. But yeah, so just hit the exclamation point and you can see right down here, I marked it as junk. If you hit control Z, that's undo and it pops it right back. You're like, oh shit, I didn't mean to mark that as, as junk. Control C, Z, Zulu. Zeta. <laughs> and it'll pop back. Zeta. Oh, I don't know why I said Zeta. <laughs> Isn't that like a sorority? Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's, yeah, the exclamation point and you can just hold it and literally like all this is fucking bullshit. So like, I'm just going through right now. All of that is just into my spam. If I want to undo all of that, I just hit the control Z to pop it back in. But let's say it's not spam and I don't want to move it to my spam folder forever. If I'm looking at this, okay, the emails here, I just hit enter to open up the email. And then I I hit my space bar to navigate down and I'm like, oh, that's, that's dumb. I don't need that. I can just hit, wait, (laughs) enter. Oh, that's an E. So sometimes my fingers do it and I don't even realize anymore, but okay. So to, (laughs) I just undid control Z to bring it back to here. You open this, you hit space to go down. You're like, oh, I don't need this. Then you hit the letter E and you just marked it as done. So now when I go back to my inbox, it's not there anymore because I marked it as done. But let's say hypothetically, something is my inbox. And I do, I do need to, let's go crowdfunding orders, hypothetically. This is again, this is spam, but I'm just going to hit. So space moves it down for me to read the email. Then I hit enter to reply if I want to reply to them. And I'm just going to say test because I don't care whether or not, I don't care what they get on this message. And then I just hit control enter to hit send. Now it's sent and I can go to control T to go to my sent items and then hit H to follow up tomorrow in case they don't reply. That was a lot. That was so fucking much. Are you with me on that though? I am. I also want to to recap. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. Recap. (laughs) The recap is you can go through your inbox and you can mark as spam. You can mark as done. You can open and you can reply in two seconds by using different codes. I think that's the takeaway. I don't know if they're going to remember all the fucking codes from this, from this. So I think I'm just going to go with takeaway as opposed to exact keys. What do you think? What you got? Yeah, that works. Okay. I'm going to test this out. I've never done the H because super huge. So like there, I know, I know I've never (laughs) done the H literally never done it. Dad. Uh, so the reminders are everything. They are, but I would click it. Okay. I didn't know. It's okay. Doesn't matter. This is not a shaming session. Allie, you're great. Let's fucking get your H situated here. Yeah. Let me get my (laughs) H. Okay. I'm, I'm sending you an email. And so I send it and then I click H or or then I send it. So you hit control enter. 
which you're, yep. are you using your key, your codes to, to send? Yeah. You hit control enter to send. Okay. Perfect. Yes. And then, yeah, just then I go to my sent. GT goes to your sent GT. And then you hit H and you can remind tomorrow you can do today at 3 PM hit enter and it'll pop up at three. You could say tomorrow, you could say Friday. And then you okay. just hit enter and then it, it will pop back up on the date and time that you chose to be like, Shelby never fucking replied to you. She's an asshole. Mm. Your turn. Follow up with her. Okay. Yeah. What I had been that. doing, <laughs> what I had been doing was sending emails <laughs> out, lifting my hand off the keyboard to the mouse to click the remind me button <gasps> on that tab. I know, I know I would use my mouse and horrified. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now this makes sense. So when with superhuman, you have the op, mm -hmm. obviously you can, this is a great way for you to remind yourself instead of putting it on your calendar or putting it on some external source. Mm -hmm. So it pops back up. It's like totally. boomerang with, which is a paid option, you know, elsewhere, but superhuman includes that boomerang feature. What was I going to say? Oh, with the reminder, the, the yes, default option is if no reply, you know, like if this person hasn't responded back to me, then remind me. What is the right. uh, keyboard shortcut for regardless of whether they reply or not? I want this to be a reminder. So I have never done a regardless because from what I've seen, it's like, I want them to reply. And if they reply, then I adjust my response. So like, I mean, I'm sure maybe there's a way. I'm sure there's a way. There's always a way. But what I would do, like hypothetically, you just, you know, replied to me here. Then I would just reset to Friday. Or I would reply. You know what I mean? Okay. So I don't think yeah. there's like a, there might be. Yeah. Okay. Because there is like, what, back what, back in the days when I was lifting my hand up off the keyboard <laughs> and onto the mouse, because <laughs> today's a new day and I'm not doing that. That's for peasants. Yeah. Uh, there is that little <laughs> drop down. Like if no reply, then remind me, you know, it, in four days, next month, whatever. Or yeah. the drop yeah. down, the other option is regardless. And I have used regardless. Now I'm forgetting what for, but okay. I'm mm -hmm. sure there is a keyboard somehow. Oh, here. Oh, there is regardless. It's right here, but yeah. you asked for the, what the code is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it. Here, let's but see. No worries. Actually, oh, you just hit tab. You hit tab and then you hit oh. J. So that's another thing. J is down, K is up. J is down, K is up. Oh, I don't like that because it's left <laughs> to right. It should be the up, down, or the bottom. Okay, J, down, K is up. All right, all right, all right. I can do that. Okay, um, yeah. So, and then when in doubt, just hit escape to go back one. So, like, if you're like, ooh, I don't want to actually do the whatever. but you, And by the way, you just hit enter if no reply. You hit tab, go down, regardless. That works. JK. J, K. Okay, this is, I will have to fiddle around with this some more. I'm in the, I'm in the. I'm in the email as I'm testing and then I, okay. Oh, but you do it after the fact. Okay. After is when you click H I'm doing it while I'm still right before I send right, right, the right. email. So, okay. Yeah. I think after you hit, you go to GT and then hit the H tab over regardless, hit enter Friday. And boom. It's really, and as she's like testing around with that guys, this is really, really helpful for me because I'm sure a lot of you guys have the oh shit, I'm going to forget anxiety. Like, you know, there is a level of anxiety where it's like, oh my God, there's so many things in my brain, I'm going to forget them. And so you stay up at night thinking of all the things that you shouldn't forget. But if you have it built into a system, in a, into, a, in this case, superhuman, I know for a fucking fact that on Friday, when I wake up, you know, at 8 a.m., boom, all my little reminders that I need to check in with just pop right up. And I then from there, I use my snippets to reply to all of them very quickly and then reset another reminder for when they don't reply again yeah yeah because that happens a lot okay i figured it out happens and maybe it's because time. your keyboard okay. doesn't have like the arrows anymore because you have the little condensed like three <laughs> three keyboard option okay so small dude <laughs> it's so oh, wow yeah oh that's cute though it's like the yeah, gaming it's one baby it's like it's 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 very cute. Yes. <laughs> okay. So you returned. send it. It's very cute. <laughs> okay. I sent it. I went, I clicked H and then I clicked the right arrow and that gives you to the, that gets you to the tab. Great. Yeah. Perfect. 
got that resolved. Okay. Carrying on. So that is your, yeah, more. Okay. So, so far we've gone, now we've, we've gone to reminders. So something that I also like is I'm like, shit, did I set a reminder for that? You can just G H, which goes to all of your reminders. And then J is down, K is up to toggle through and see, or you can hit search, which is the slash button, and then type in whatever you want. And you can see if you have a reminder set for that. Does that make sense? How does the remind, how do you know if, if you have a reminder set? Oh, sorry. Is it the yellow so you dots? you do GH and you can see all, so on right here where it's pink and it says reminds me, those are all my reminder set. No, the yellow dots are flagged versus not flagged. Okay. That's when it pops up. But let's say that you have, you're in your reminders and you're like, shit, I actually want to remove that. You can just hit the H button again and you can type in remove and then you hit enter. And then if you go to your inbox, you'll see that it just popped right back into your inbox. Okay, cool. (laughs) (laughs) I hope that this is helpful for people. They may or not, they were probably like, hey, whatever. Even if it's just helpful for me. (laughs) I'm going to review this episode. Give this one a five star. (laughs) Okay. So going back to my ugly inbox, let's say, so we're, we're going through it, right? We're saying marking as spam if we want, which is the exclamation point. We're marking as E if it's done, we are, you know, hitting enter. We're replying as we see fit. We're hitting control enter to send. We're setting reminders for ourselves. But now let's say that we're going through and we're finding an email that is just going to take too much time right now. We just want to go through our inbox, right? We don't want to reply in depth to every fucking email that's going to take a lot of thinking. So what you can do is just hit the letter S to flag it. And so what I normally do is as I'm going through, I like reply to all my quick ones. And then if I'm like, Ooh, that's going to take me a minute. Or if that's something that I time block today, I just put it in S. So that way I can go hit tab later and see my flagged emails in one place. Questions on that. Okay. So you use the flag. So you, you, your email organization, you're, you're flagging emails that are going to be taking more than just two seconds to respond to. And, and maybe the flagged emails could become a virtual assistant task. Yo, real quick. This podcast is not free. Cost of admission is sharing with a buddy who benefit or throwing it on your Instagram story. I guess we'll reshare that shit. Or it is could it be you? if you want to use it that way. Totally. I usually what I normally do is I'm going through in the mornings, like when my inboxes look crazy, I just use it as a quick way for me to organize. And once I like have it down to something that's manageable, I'll go over to my flags. And normally they're all one category. That's something. So I'm really big on like selecting all. So you can control A to select all. I don't know if you know knew that. And then what you can do is you can do reminders for all of them at one time. So when I organize, what I like to do is like hypothetically, you know, I do financials on Friday morning. So if I go through and I'm like, oh, that's my CPA. Oh, that's my property manager. Oh, shit. Okay. And then all of the ones that I just flagged are now a Friday task. That's when I will control A to select all, hit H, and then do Friday. Because I know that Friday is financials, which I I just did another thing right now where I clicked zero twice. and This is my wrong inbox, so it's not my real one. Here's my real inbox. So I hit zero twice, and now you can see on my calendar. So if you, the reason why this is important, if you hit zero once, you can see your calendar for the day. And if you hit it twice, you can see your calendar for the week. And that's really helpful when you are like, oh shit, when did I time block to look at financials? When did I time block? When am I talking to Allie next? And you can look at your calendar and be like, oh, I'm syncing with Allie on Thursday. I'm going to take this test email that she sent me that I want to make sure to talk about. And I'm going to remind myself at 11.55 a.m. because I know that my meeting with Allie is at 12. And so at 11.55, when I'm getting my shit together, it'll pop up and it will remind me to talk to Allie about it at that time. Does that make sense? That's amazing. I, being that I use Google Calendar, but I messed up and I went with Outlook for my email, when I click calendar, I see my outlook. Is there a way for me to incorporate my Gmail into here? Into here. That's a good question. 
I'm not positive if you can like, you mean like, so you're using your one email, but you're using your other calendar. Yeah. I, I'm a hot mess. I think it might, honestly, I don't know, but here there's a, whenever you need help, I think there's like one of these fucking things down here that can help what I bet there's a yeah see controls k <laughs> and then you just hit help and the help center will pop up but that's actually not what I was looking for let's see contact us that's it I don't know how okay to get there perfect without opening okay how do I oh look at that that's so cute how do I hey, and then it emails nice. superhuman how do I yeah. Okay. So awesome. that's what I would do. And then I like Superhuman's really good about like, okay, so clearly I had to click for that one because I didn't know that one by heart. So now they're like tip, hit control J. Oh, that's for AI. <laughs> but what they'll do is like with um as you're doing something, if you do it manually, oftentimes they'll pop up and be like, Did you know that you could use this code and make it faster? Does that make sense? One hundred percent. I'm thinking since I'm going to be adding my Gmail email onto this, I it'll just be like one click away from seeing my G, my Google Calendar. But either way, by toggling, uh, yeah, toggling. But either way, on I use Chrome as the extension, and I really really like it because you can pin whatever are the most important you know tabs that you most frequently open. So I always have like my my superhuman pinned my tracker my conversation tracker pinned and my kv core yeah there's a, like always three the three open so even like oh and my calendar so anyway i can always just open up that that pinned tab yeah i do still use my actual calendar a lot which i'm curious like so this is what i do to like keep all of my short you know all of my things really close what do you mean by pinned because that's that's different than this right yeah yeah so open up a or i guess you could take so you already have it saved as a as a folder what i like yeah open up any website whatever the fuck whenever you and then right click that tab on the chrome extension right the tab yep and then pin. Click pin yep so now every single time you close chrome and oh, open it back here. up here Yep, it'll already be there, open. Mm. So, very cool. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't really want to pin this, <laughs> but yeah, okay, perfect, cool. Okay. I love, I love shit like that. You know, yes. Sorry, super oh, no, no. focusing. <laughs> I guess another <laughs> since we're talking about the the Google Chrome, you can pin more than one, or you can like group yeah. stuff too. So those like three are like my pro my prospecting, grouping, whatever. One is one issue that I haven't yet yes. resolved in my superhuman is yes I a lot of my emails important shit are going straight to my deleted and I never deleted them I never even saw them so they're deleted unopened. deleted not spam not promotions <laughs> not whatever not fun deleted and I so I'm wondering if this is I think there are some instances in which you just have to go back to your Gmail or go back to your Outlook to fix the rules. It must be some sort of rule. Yeah. And I have a fuck ton of rules. So that's what scares me is gotcha. somehow these people, like new agents that I'm going under contract with or whatever, are going straight, straight to my deleted. So I've tried. It's terrifying. Yeah. So I have to now check my deleted folder. So I've tried looking so up sorry. to see, is there a way to, on Superhuman, to add people as a favorite, mm -hmm. add people as a contact. So that way it doesn't go into your deleted. Although now that I'm asking that, it would still go to my deleted. It just wouldn't, it would prevent me adding them as a favorite, as a contact would probably just prevent them going to my spam. Shit, I'm fucked. Hmm. Well, you can, okay. So in, in Superhuman, you can do VIPs. So maybe, well, I guess that wouldn't really work because you wouldn't know if they're VIP in the beginning, the first time, especially if they're new people. I think that that's one that you're going to have to contact them. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying my best here. I'm not an expert. <laughs> yeah. I'm making a to-do list. Okay. Contact superhuman. While you do that, I do want to go over snippets, which is one of my favorite things about superhuman 
one of the reasons why I got sold on it. So all of us have, temp- not all of us, oh my gosh, you should have <laughs> templates. If you don't have template emails, you're fucking wrong. You need to go back through your sent messages because all the shit is the same to buyers and sellers in the process, which ideally should be written down in, in some sort of a checklist, have corresponding emails that follow along with those tasks. What I used to do is I used to, in Outlook, have all of my template emails saved in my drafts folder. So I could just go over to my drafts and then copy paste, control C, control V to duplicate, open it up, and then manually change out the name and add the all the things. Within Superhuman, if you go to control K and you just go to snippets, you can save all of your template emails in one place and you can set them up so that way you can't, sorry, I'm looking for an example. So that way you can insert their name. So like on this snippet, it's, hey, first name. And now when I go and use this, which is my investor agent snippet, if I go to home and I hit to Ali and I use my snippet, which you, to, to reach your snippets, you hit the semicolon. And then let's see, this is it. Investor agent, that's what I was just showing. And you hit enter, you can see how it pulled Ali's name directly into the hey first name. So now I could just hit, you know, compose. So going back to, to the beginning, you hit C to compose a new email. You type in ALI, hit enter for Ali. Then you hit the semicolon and investor, hit enter. And then you can hit control enter to send it. It's going to stop me because in this template, I didn't have a subject. So it's going to, I'm going to say, fuck it, send anyway. Ali doesn't need a subject, hit enter. And now that all sent to Ali from my template in two seconds, I can go GT and set a reminder in three days to check in to make sure that Ali sees it. And so just to go back to snippets, Guys, I have a snippet for fucking everything. I'm not even kidding. I what? I have like fucking probably 200 snippets at least. And like it's it's really helpful for, you know, Ali, you're getting all my messages. But like LC is my listing contract to close. So I have all of my listing contract to close templates in case you're not using a listing coordinator. All of it's right here and I can just hit enter and look, mail away closing guidance. Hey Ali, I always like giving a heads up for my mail aways blah, blah, blah. And like all this pretty fucking email, hit enter, hit send, boom. And then I can go to my sent emails and I can open them up and I can see whether or not the fucking person read the email. And Joelle opened this email to me twice and she hasn't written back yet. So (laughs) now I can know this is really helpful too. If you're like trying to, you know, get a seller to sign a listing agreement, or you just sent them a bunch of information you can go back and see that they've looked at it like 12 times or one time or never opened it. Okay, I'm going to stop. Allow for, for questions. What you got, Allie? Okay, how how do you organize, being that you have so many snippets, I'm getting to the point where I don't even realize that I already created a snippet. I'm creating this duplicate snippets, yeah. snippets here or there and everywhere. Yeah. How do you keep track, I guess, of all of those snippets? Apple listeners, this short pause is to ask you for a review. Here's how to do it. Back out of the specific episode, go to the page where you see all the episodes, scroll down, keep scrolling, perfect. Now tap those five stars. Thank you so much. Back to the show. Yeah, so that was a problem and it still can be a problem. But what I try to do is I try to name the initial category one thing so like, for instance, with the, the listings, like all of them start with the LC. And so then I can see all of them from here. I don't know if like, and so I don't know, CI is checking in. So I know that I'm going to do CI. Here's like my four, five different ways to check in with people, depending on their circumstance. Or like PNA is like potential new agent. So here's like my... I don't know. Is this making sense? I I try to like chunk categorize them. Does that make sense? Because if you're trying to memorize a different keyword for everything, it's going to be really fucking hard. Right. I have like frequently asked questions is one of them. And there's like a bunch of frequently asked questions. Okay. 
okay, you have your key, your, you have your acronym in the beginning and then your the rest of the subject line is the mm-hmm. details of what that actual email is. Yeah, that makes sense. Correct. Yeah, I have like my buyer emails one through six, seller emails one through six, but then a lot of like onesie, twosie, miscellaneous ones that I maybe just haven't yet categorized mm-hmm. or haven't had enough to create a category. Right. And I think that's where I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot that I created that one already. Yeah. And that will, I mean, it'll totally get you. And sometimes you just like have to go through and be like, oh, I need to rename this or, oh, I need to consolidate these two because they're too close, too closely. But I've also just kind of trained myself to like, whenever I'm starting a new email, I don't just start writing. Like I search first, you know, and that kind of leads onto the search where if you just hit the slash button, it leads you to search. So you can search for anything in your entire Okay. I'm going to stop. For okay. Second. More questions or there. So I do want to clarify when you click E on an email that it's not deleted. Yes. Right. So like at a certain point, it, just because, or even if you are deleting emails, correct me if I'm wrong. Even if you are deleting emails mm-hmm. on your superhuman, it still doesn't clear up space on your Gmail or on your outlook. So at some point you are going to have to go back in. You are going to get the message saying, Hey, you need to clear up your shit. So. Right. Well, you can just go to G E. If you go to G E and you're like, in theory, everything that I've already hit done, I probably don't need anymore. And then you just control a to select all. And then you just, you know, hit delete from here. And then it's like, this might take a while. So I don't actually want to do that, but that is just something that you could do. But if you Maybe. did, it doesn't clear up space on your mm-hmm. actual outlook. Oh, does it not? If I, you don't, I don't know. I don't, here, it doesn't. I could be doing this wrong. I don't think it. I, I don't know. You. I received I haven't an email. deleted anything from here. Okay. I haven't deleted stuff in a very, very, very long time. So I did, I did recently get the notification saying, hey, you need to clear up space. So I had to go. And when I tried to clear up space on Superhuman, Maybe it was just me. I had to go back into my actual Outlook and clear up space that way, like my deleted folders that way. But at least like Superhuman is a way for you to just mentally have a clearer vision, uh, an idea of what's happening in your inbox. Totally. And there's, I mean, yes. So there's there's other really cool things that, I mean, I just like the copy feature makes it really easy for email addresses. The other thing with snippets real quick is that, if you're writing a new email, whatever, test, test, you can also do snippets in like in the body of the email. It doesn't have to be a whole email. So like hypothetically, if you're always sharing contact information for certain vendors, which clearly, you know, I have certain vendors that I share contact with a lot, then you can save all of that in there too. So you can just piece it in. Sorry. I just want to say that before I forgot it. That's true. Yeah. That's a really, really good point. Yeah. You could have snippets within the snippets, like say, yeah. So I do the same thing. Like, Hey, book a call here just in case they don't see it in my signature block or whenever I say like, I'm pushing out a channel, Hey, the agent gold mine, you can check us out more here. And that's a snippet. Um, Yeah, exactly. There was something else that I wanted to cover. What? Oh, Oh, okay. Going back to what we, you just showed. I, I want to figure this out because mm-hmm. we didn't figure it out this <laughs> the last time we spoke about Superhuman. Last time? The, the, view, the viewing. How? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take me back to the inbox where you can see people that have opened your email or not. Yeah. So remember I told you I was going to ask this guy for sponsoring. By the way, if anyone would like to sponsor the Agent Goldmine, we are looking for spark, sponsor partnerships for 2022. Hit us up. But clearly I asked. Justin. (laughs) And I know he viewed the email twice. And then my reminder (laughs) popped up and I checked in with him. Yes, no, maybe so. And he has not opened that yet. So that's the example of open, having open slash not. And we are looking for sponsors for 2024 as well, even though Shelby said 2022. (laughs) Did I? No, I fucking didn't. (laughs) Yeah. All good though. All good. We could take back. (laughs) We can back pay. (laughs) Okay. It didn't even exist then. Oh my god. That's so funny. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're opening up, you're going to your scent folder. Is that what it is? Okay, GT. Yeah. GT and then, for the scent. Yes, ma'am. And then, then I hit J to the... go down to wherever I want. And then I hit enter. Okay. 
yeah. Jay enter. And I just I had to lift up my mouse. I don't know why. Oh, lift up the mouse. Okay. Whether or not they've opened it. I know. Yeah. Hor- what, horrible. <laughs> what the heck? I don't. There's a see... way. Let's see. The, yeah, this is weird. I don't see any checks. Still, what's the going on? I would let's. You can put it all in your questions for some. Oh yeah, yeah. They're gonna love it. Yeah. Okay. Back to like a little bit of an overall, little bit of an overall summary is yes. in case you do not know where to go, Control K is will get you everywhere. Yes. Let's go to Control totally. K now and see what we have not talked about. Ooh, split inbox. Do you do split inboxes? I have. Um, okay, so my split that I decided on was the flagged. You, I've tested it with the VIP, but that's like you basically only if you want, you know, everyone hypothetically from your EXP realty, whatever, to pop into that folder, or you can just mark specific senders VIP. I don't like to organize it, organize it that way, but I think it's just personal preference or maybe that's team. But anyway, so I don't care about news and I didn't care about these personally. And calendar, yeah, it does pop up where it's just like you were invited from calendar to an event. Those save my ass. <laughs> I love the calendar tab. <laughs> Do you use and then team? with other that's yes. I I don't. Do you? No. Uh, but I'm trying to think of like maybe if and when, not really if, but when someone else starts managing my inbox it would team be the way to go or do I just give them my login? I, yeah, I get, I straight up gave my girl my login, but then I also have her, I have her BCC me on everything. So that way, you know, it pops up that she sent something. Oh, that's another thing. So like hypothetically I'm composing to Allie and I hit control shift C and then you have the CC line that pops up. And if you hit enter, you can do BCC. So now I can say, Allie is the best slash worst, whatever, obviously the best. And then when I hit send, it's going to BCC. So the blind courtesy copy. So Allie doesn't know that I shared it with myself, but it's going to pop up in my inbox as being like, hey, Shelby sent this to Allie. Does that make sense? Yes, that does. Do you, I like a BCC. Sometimes, uh, sometimes if, if the <laughs> yeah if the blind partner realizes that they're BCC'd and they don't reply all. Oh my god! When they reply, oh my god! I I'm dead. Can. I fucking hate that shit. I'm like, dude. I'm like, this was a secret. clearly yeah, clearly I I didn't mention you. <laughs> like, oh, pop it up. I guess you're gonna be a client now. Like, no, I didn't have the hand I off there yet. <sighs> right. I literally hate that. It's literally just a heads up. Yeah. <laughs> So, but I do, I love the BCC. I use it frequently. I'm trying to think about what else I use a lot. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. How often do you do when you click control K and it says, but it says like clear all or get me to zero. How often do you get your, well, yeah. Yeah, How often do you get yourself to zero? Is that because you're always on zero? I, 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 I stay at zero pretty frequently, not because my inbox is always zero, but because I remind my, I boomerang so much. So like I, if there's something that it's going to stress me out, like if it's in my inbox, that's one of the main reasons why I love superhuman so much is because if it's in my inbox, I'm like going to fixate on it. I can't help it. It's like human nature, you know, but if I can take it away from my view, because I know that hypothetically tomorrow at 10 is when I have fucking time blocked to reply to all my emails, then it allows me to clear out that mind space for myself and know that I will have the time and space to get back to it. So I'm, I'm on, I'm on inbox zero. I try to get on there every day. Okay. Like if I'm not, I'm, I, I, I will get there every day. Yeah. When you, cause what, when you first join it, it tells you, it like really wants to start you clear from the very, very beginning. So when you first join superhuman, it will push you gently push you and say, Hey, let's get you to the inbox zero. Let's delete all the emails further out than a year. You clearly haven't looked at them. 
you probably don't need them. Yeah. Let's just delete them. And yeah. that was one of the scariest things. I was like, oh my gosh, but there's something, you know, like I'm an <gasps> email hoarder, you know, I'm like Ooh, what, yeah. what if one time 15 years down the road, I need this one email that I won't be able to open anyway. So I'm like, all right, let me try this. <laughs> and I tried it and it feels good. And now I probably knew, do need to click uh, on get me to zero again though. But I really, really like that. Like from the very beginning, they're like, just clear your shit up. Do it now. Do totally. They, I like that too. Like less is more. And also the, we didn't talk about this at all. They always, every single day, they have a really different, beautiful picture in the background. So if you get to email, you know, inbox zero, which by the way, 21 weeks in a row, cause you asked me how often, then you get this beautiful picture in the background. It's like a little treat. The reward. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> This is just okay, an example. Awesome. They usually have like a like a well, okay, okay, awesome. Oh, no, tell us, but no, tell us what else did the no? This is, it's uh, good. I I think that's it for now. I don't know, like if this was if I like sold this to the best, but or like how actual great it actually it is. But like it makes replying so easy. You guys probably saw this. So like in the instance, Vince replied. Like he, you know, he sent us an email. If you guys don't know Vince, shout out. He's one of our agents in Atlanta and he's like, Hey, here's a newer agent. So all I did, I literally did this almost without thinking was hit enter, hit semicolon, type in Vince, hit enter. And then it's like, Vince, you're the best. This part I need to change, you know, to Owen. And then I can literally just hit send. Boom. You know what I mean? And like, that was a whole, it took two seconds and I, whatever, you get my point. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> that's I how also quickly you have... can fly through your emails. Yeah. I, I love it. Vince. I also yeah. have a snippet for Vince. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like you said, shout out to Vince because he yeah. is the amount of people <laughs> that Vince talks to every single day. Like agents, man, if you don't know Vince, follow him on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. He owns like one owns. He ha yeah. he hosts one of the largest, I think the largest bigger pockets meet up out in Atlanta, Georgia. If you're looking to get your license, if you already are a real estate agent, he just switched over from Keller Williams to us because he was stagnant at making $300,000 and was like, dude, I need to make more. Yeah. So he's like, guys, help me. I've been making 300 K every year for the last three years. I need to make more. So hit him up. I also have, yeah. yeah. Vince anyway, sells Atlanta. Vince yes. sells ATL. This is him. Vince, Vincent yeah. Crane. Okay. Super awesome guy. Cool. I, I feel like there might be one more thing actually. Is there, do you ever do auto advance. I just found this for the first time ever on superhuman. Oh my God. No, share your turn. I don't know. What oh it God. I don't know what I'm doing, but I can <laughs> gladly share, share my oops. I did a little control K action. This is like, well, this is one of the things that I've never touched. So choose where you, where you go after triaging a combo. You can either mark it done, remind me your track. Oh, that's just, okay. What buttons do you want to pop up as you're going through superhuman? I'm guessing go down and show their old, older conversation. Never mind. I I don't know. Auto advance right now, I think is a little bit too advanced for me. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Well, if we ever do a round two, I'm actually curious though. Like, so listeners, this, if you were listening in the car, not helpful. If you're on a computer, I feel like this is just helpful. Well, actually, this could be helpful for everyone because I think we all struggle with inbox management. It's like a big thing. As soon as you get even like the little of us bit of busy, it's like, holy shit, my email, they're crazy. So let us know though, if you like this type of thing, because we have a bunch of little techie shortcuts that both of us use. So if you do like them, if you found this helpful, please let us know. And if you didn't like it also, please let us know. Don't keep it to yourself. And otherwise, Allie, do you have anything you want to do for closeout? If you are interested in even more of these, like because this was more, if anything, one of our first like tutoring sessions, you know, and this is the shit that we do all the time. So like we just jumped with each off other. a call where yeah, with each other, with others. So <laughs> if you're interested in this type of like training, we, we do give out, we have free trainings every single Thursday and they're pretty inexpensive because they're fucking free. <laughs> so no matter what brokerage you're in, if you're interested in, in free trainings, <laughs> hit us up. Allie the agent, the Shelby show. And that's it for today, guys. Be a bro and share this show.
Yeah, so remember I told you I was gonna ask this guy for sponsoring. By the way, if anyone would like to sponsor the Agent Goldmine, we are looking for sponsor partnerships for 2022. And we are looking for sponsors for 2024 as well, even though Shelby said 2022. <laughs> My God, the... I just muted myself. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so funny because before that we recorded this one, it was like, this will be a short one. It's just like a demo real quick, right? And it's like 51 minutes. <laughs> Thanks so much for listening, dude. If you want the golden nugget that this guest provided, see the show notes or just go straight to theagentgoldmine.com. That's where we keep all our resources for you. Till next time.